Yeah, you know, there's, there is this um, machismo in the venture business, the entrepreneurship business, about being able to take a company public and then growing into some huge public company a la Bill Gates. And those stories are wonderful stories when they happen. But the reality is that um, it takes very many, it takes different skills at different stages of a startup to be successful. Um, and individuals may have the skills to move from stage to stage, and they may not. And that's okay. That um, I personally, I personally see the reinvestment of entrepreneurial skills back into startups as being much more valuable than seeing an entrepreneur become a great manager in leading an operating business. Now, um, because entrepreneurs are rare and managers are trained at Harvard Business School. So, um, <laughs> so, so, the, so the reality is that I, I think there are- We all have our role, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I look at the stages um, in early stage companies. I, I uh, in the book, I use an example, um, three breeds of dogs. I, I looked at the notion of the early stage entrepreneur being a retriever. Somebody who's got to go out and bring together all of the resources that are necessary to get that company off the ground. The people, the money, the partners, all the things that are necessary to try and get that idea going. Um, if that's successful, if you end up with a good product or service and it gets reinforced by the marketplace, you then have to become much more of a bloodhound. Now you really have to find, you have to get the scent of the trail. You have to start building the plan, the execution plan that's going to drive that, that idea that you've now sort of have in a demonstrable product or service into a real business against the market with real customers. And then um, I, I look at the notion of a husky, the idea that now, okay, I've gone through those first two stages, I have a great product or service, I have demonstrated a real value proposition in the market, and I have ways to sell to customers, and customers are willing to buy my product or service. Now I need to grow the operation. I need somebody to pull the sled. And the notion here in the, in the, in the, is that this, this husky is your operating leader, and somebody who can hopefully take that company to a public market liquidity wherever the right destination is for it. Um, and in the book, I allude to the fact that you hope you never really need a St. Bernard, somebody to come and save the company and bail it out from a tough situation. <laughs> That's another sort of personality, and uh, I didn't touch upon that as much. <laughs>